I tell all my friends Merry Christmas all the time and we share Christmas parties and Christmas wishings all the time with our friends. Yeah. I wouldn't be offended if somebody said, you know, happy Ramadan. Like of course. It, that's that's their thing. That yeah. that they're entitled to that. Oh hi sir, we're just here asking people about the rebranding. Finally to turn that off. Uh, we won't be turning that off. David Menzies for Rebel News here in downtown Toronto. Well, folks, I'm at the distillery district, and you know, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Well, not really. You see, the distillery district at this time of year is home to the beloved Toronto Christmas market. Now, there was no Christmas market last year because, of course, of COVID, it would be far too dangerous. So it's back this year, but guess what? the Christmas has been taken out of Christmas market. Yes, folks, the war on Christmas continues. It is now the distillery Winter Village. I guess we don't want to offend anyone. And you know, it's kind of odd. Um, the last time we were here, um, it was about a year ago in beautiful weather. And we were doing a report on how the distillery district was dealing with COVID. Namely, the rule was, if you came here, and I'm talking about outdoors, not into these beautiful shops indoors, you had to wear a mask, unless of course, you were seated and eating and drinking, and then you didn't have to wear a mask because you see this virus is so super intelligent and super sensitive, it wouldn't dare uh, tackle you while you were seating and while you were eating and drinking. And you know, it's funny, even though we're on a public street, I'm at the corner of Trinity Street and Grismill Lane. We were given the heave ho based on private property reasons here. Check out what happened to us last year. No one's wearing a, a mask. And Sir, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm Jason, by the way. Oh, hi, Jason. How you doing there? We cannot shoot right now with, on our property, okay? Oh, why, why is that? It's private property and you need a permit for such activity. That's all. Okay, how do I get a permit then? So, I, I th so right now we got to stop. Okay, shooting. Okay. Well, it. oh, it's fine. If, you, if you're refusing, then you become a trespasser and I'll deal with it another way. That's all. We're just asking questions about the new uh, policy. What do you think about that, ma'am? Um, so I'm the general manager, so you need to set up an appointment and approval oh, okay. in order to speak to me. I, I, I sent out an email earlier to uh, Miss Price. Um, Can you turn that off, please? Well, Sir, I understand. We, oh, yeah. we don't need to do it this way. But can, can I, stop I see thing? I see people filming everywhere right now. They're approved. <laughs> These people with cell phone cameras are approved to uh, to shoot. Is that true, ma'am? That's okay. All right. If you're not going to cooperate, that's fine. Yeah. Sure, I'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to be. I'm trying to be nice. You know. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, sir. We're just asking people well, no, questions. I'm not to film and to leave. That's all. Okay. Well, if you're refusing, that's fine. I'll deal with it another way. That's all. Yeah. So one of the characters in that uh, video, folks, was Elena Price. She's the director of marketing and media. I reached out to her for two things. One is to find out why the Toronto Christmas market has been rebranded as the uh, Winter Village. And also, um, just to go by their rules to get a permit to film on what is, as far as I can tell, public uh, street, I thought I would uh, go through official channels and get that so we don't get the heave ho from security. Well, I'll tell you, Miss Price, Director of Marketing and Media, didn't like where my questions were headed, so here's what happened. Um, is this Miss Price? Yes, it is. Yes, hi, Miss Price. Uh, David Menzies from Rebel News here. How you doing there? Okay. Yeah, I'm just, um, I noticed the um, Christmas market has been renamed the Distillery Winter Village, and I was just wondering why that name change came to be and, and who is behind it. So it's actually a different type of event this year. It's not the Toronto Christmas Market, which is why we changed the name. Okay, but it's still, it's a Christmas time event, isn't it, with Christmas themes? Yes, but it's not the Toronto Christmas Market that you would have had in 2019. Right, but I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand the expulsion of the word Christmas and replacing it with winter, because uh, isn't Christmas the reason for the season? 
the holidays, so there's a lot of different words you can use to describe the season. Oh, all right then. So if that was the case in 2019, why wouldn't you call it, I don't know, the Christmas Kwanzaa Hanukkah? I'm not sure. I wasn't here in 2019, so I can't speak to 2019. Okay. So who who is behind the name change, uh, Miss Price? Okay, um, you know what? I'm actually on another call right now, so you're going to need to call back. Sorry about that. Just curious, is it a Christmas tree yeah, in the sorry spring about or that. a winter I just, village I just tree? I another call that I need to pick up. Sorry. Yeah, that's one hell of a media and marketing director. I'm getting some prickly questions, so I'll just terminate the call. In any event, we're just going to ask people here at the Distillery District um, what they think of taking the word Christmas out of the Christmas market. Is this yet another war on Christmas? Does this bother anyone? Does anyone care? Does anyone think this is a good idea? Well, let's see what the folks here have to say. Do you think that's a good rebranding or would you have preferred the Christmas market? I honestly would prefer Christmas market. I mean, this place is practically like North Pole, but when you just walk in, it feels just like, like just nothing better than the Christmas market, you know? I honestly, I have no idea. I have no, no opinion on it. No opinion on it. Not really. Okay, no. fair enough. How about yourself? Yeah, just indifferent. Indifferent? Yeah. As long as there's a gift under the tree, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the Christmas market. Christmas market, yeah. I think yeah. would be better. Too. Yeah. Yeah. We did the Christmas markets in Germany, and they were beautiful, just like this. But they were Christmas markets. I think that I the Winter Village. Vibe. You prefer the Winter Village? Yeah. Okay. Then. I think so. And how about I you like the Christmas market. Oh. Honestly, for me, either way is fine. It is the Distillery District. I think that gives it a more of a uh, identifiable name. Sure. For the area. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me either way. I still call it the Christmas market, but oh, okay, yeah. Then. I mean, like when I'm talking about it, it's what I'm used to, but it doesn't matter. Either one. I'm a huge Christmas fan, so I think this is ridiculous. Do you think, sir, that there's a hypersensitivity to Christmas? With You know, people say there's a war on Christmas. You don't say Merry Christmas anymore. You say Happy Holidays, but... But why? I've never met anyone offended by being wished a Merry Christmas. Honestly, that's just there. There's other people of religious beliefs, and for me, I only I always say Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas. So I'm not I'm not offended by either. Somebody that's got more power than we do has made the decision. Yeah, but what is, what is the reason behind it, ma'am? I think it's just to uh, for everybody, nobody to. Um, be offended? Be offended. Be offended. No, I tell all my friends Merry Christmas all the time, and we share Christmas parties and Christmas wishings all the time with our friends. Yeah. Oh. And I always, when I leave a store, I always say Merry Christmas. I yeah. never say Happy Holidays. And no one gets Christmas. triggered, right? No. No. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm a Christian myself, but I always love Christmas. I just love saying Merry Christmas, spreading goodwill to everyone, you know? I wouldn't be offended if somebody said, you know, Happy Ramadan, like course. That's that's their thing. That yeah. that they're entitled to that. Do you guys have a permit to be here? Or? Oh, uh, it's a street, Trinity Street. We're on, and uh, yeah, you're on private property. That's a city of Toronto sign, sir. Yeah, no, you're on private property, sir. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Um, and who might you be? I'm Kyle, I'm the uh, site supervisor for Paragon. Oh, okay. Can I see your security license, please? No. Okay, well then, you could be Joe Blow as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's why I have this here. Yeah, that's not your license, sir. Yeah, I don't have to pr provide that to you. Uh, you do, actually. I don't, actually. Uh, you do. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ladies. How you doing there? Good. We're just asking people, you know, uh, this is the site of the Christmas market. Mm -hmm. There was no Christmas market last year because of COVID. Uh, well, we're on public street, sir. You're, you're on private property. These nice ladies, are, we're just having a conversation. So, and anyway, ma'am, it's now called the Distillery Winter Village. And we're just wondering, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is it good to get rid of the Christmas uh, word or not a good thing? Uh, I don't know. 
know if it's a good or a bad thing. I think, I mean, the branding makes sense to me because they're trying to reopen and trying to do a little bit of a, more of a winter type thing than like a Christmas thing, I would say. So I think it makes sense. Yes. Oh, hi, sir. We're just here asking people about the rebranding. Can I ask you to turn that off? Uh, we won't be turning that off. Yeah. In any event, um, what do you think about the rebranding of the Christmas market I, to I the... I don't have a comment on that. I'm going to ask you kindly to leave the site, though, if you don't actually have a permit to be here. Oh, who are you, sir? Who are you? Uh, my name is David Menzies with Rebel News. Okay. So if he's recording you. Yeah. Yeah, which we're allowed to do. Yeah. David Menzies. Okay. So, who is this person? Are you refusing to leave the site? Uh, we're on a public street, sir, okay. and you haven't inter you haven't shown us your security yeah, license. I'm gonna call the police on you. Okay, yeah. you do that. And what is the reason for that? Because you're on private property and you've been asked to leave, and you're not leaving. Why? Why do you want us to leave? Get that out of my face. Why? We're having a conversation. How about yourself, sir? What do you think of the uh, Christmas market being rebranded as the Winter Village? No. A little bit camera shy. <laughs> Wasn't that odd with the security guards? We're just having friendly conversations with people here at the distillery district, but they wanted us out. They, by the way, broke the regulations by not showing us their license. That's under section 35. But at the end of the day, folks, we're happy that the Christmas market or winter village is back. But at the same time, you get a vibe here, despite this beautiful festive scene, that the people running the distillery district, they all seem to be Grinches, drunk on something, maybe bitterness, and I don't know why. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Ho, 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 it's less than 30 days until Christmas, or as they say here, the distillery district, that special time of winter festive season or something, Folks, if you're struggling with a Christmas gift for your loved one, why not go to the Rebel News store? We have gorgeous t-shirts, we have sweatshirts, we have toques. You will be a champion on Christmas Day if you get one of those for your friends and family members. Once again, please go to the Rebel News store for all your Christmas shopping. And in the meantime, Merry Christmas to one and all.